Hello, my name is Mauer Applebaum. I'm a mastering engineer, and I've been working with STL Tones on this new plugin expansion pack. It's Mauer Applebaum uh, expansion pack. And uh, today I'm going to show you how we work with them. And I get my dog excited too. He's jumping out of excitement. Okay, so the first thing I want to do is listen to the song. Makes sense, right? I'm working on it. So um, I'm going to play a small segment of it just so we have something that we can compare to while we're working. So this is a track by a band called Silver Chord. It's spelled S-I-L-V-E-R-K-O-R-D, Silver Chord. And it's called Behind the Sun. And as you'd notice now, this track has a lot of depth from the drums. That's where you kind of get that uh, the pounding feel. It's not fast. It's very slow. And it gives you this tension. And that tension bringing you into the song and as they progress with the song you'll hear that repetitive form moving forward and progressing with it now i'll listen to another section here so we'll see where the progression is and then we're going to go into it So you're noticing that there's guitars and bass that are kind of moving the song in a in a form that's like a continuum form. And then you have the drums and the vocals, which are moving dynamically, where the drums, the, the pattern that he's playing and adding and the space between the drumming elements, which, you know, could be if the, the cymbals, the kick, the snare, the toms, then in the vocals, he has this movement where he's resting and then he's coming in and moving up and down. Those two elements are, are taking the like the, kind of the bottom and the top and the guitars and bass are gluing them together. Now, that's one of the things that I have to consider when I'm mastering because I want to emphasize on the element of the groove and the depth of the drums because they're giving the impact and that movement where, you know, from side to side. And then the vocals, they're kind of like the height, you know, because they're moving up and down. The guitars and bass are connecting these dots. So I don't want to overwhelm the bass or the guitars. I don't know, want to over brighten certain elements because I want to keep the solid basses of the drums intact too. So the first thing we'll do is we listen to, you know, those parts right now of the song. There's other parts, but we're going to focus on this. As you can see, I'm going to be now going to my insert section and I'm going to be 
pulling up SDL tones control hub as you see the GUI is very easy to, to work with you you have different modules here you can connect and disconnect which is basically this button here that bypasses or unbypasses them um, you'll notice here there's default color compression master EQ effects that's for each preset that exists in the pre in the preset pack it will give you some information uh, so I go to the artist pack and you'll see there's different artists here and each one provided an amount of presets that you can work with um, for different uh, specific instruments or mix bus or master bus in my case it's only a mastering so it will be considered as mix master so when we load mine it will see mix master uh, as you can see there's a lot of presets here and each one of them is a sonic possibility to work with um, some might work better than others some might not even work for this so you got to toggle and see what works now you have the ability to tweak them so if something doesn't work but it's close to something that you want you can still play with it and change the modules to tweak it so it does work and if something is really close and just needs a small thing to change you can do that too so let's uh let's load the first one see how that sounds for it Okay, so in this case when I'm hearing this I'm feeling it brings a lot of things up front but it's too much so I will play with the limiter maybe and see if that works or we'll move to a different one So this is actually very nice. It does fit the song, but I'm not gonna tweak this. I'm gonna try a different preset. Okay, so I put here the one that's called Warm Lows and it's number two, preset number two. I feel that this fits better it still might need a tweak and that's okay because every music needs their own thing you know it's it's music is custom and that's what we're working we're customizing now this preset so I'm gonna play around with a few things and see how I can tweak it more the first thing I feel I'm gonna change a bit of the limiter and find that sweet spot where it sits really nicely with the drums As you saw, I bypassed and unbypassed. It's important to do that after you get a certain setting going because you want to make sure you're not just falling in love with what you're doing, but actually you're benefiting the, the sound. So every once in a while, I'll bypass, unbypass. Okay, I like where I took it now. I think the limiter works really nice with the drums. Gives that size and punch. Now I'm gonna address uh, the coloration of the sound. And color in sound is a very big word. It covers a lot of ground. So looking at this setup here, I'm gonna go to the module called color. I'm gonna bypass it 
and hear what I'm losing when I'm taking it out. I'm going to bring it back in, hear what's adding, and then I'm going to probably play with the bass and treble and try to add some heft downstairs and some openness upstairs, but everything in very minimal because I'm very happy with where I'm getting already with preset number two on this track. Okay, so the coloration of that module brought me some heft, some low end, which I like, but I feel I need a tad more in the low end and maybe in the high end. And I'm going to discover that in a few seconds where I'm going to push it a bit then go back, push a bit, find that sweet spot. So I added a small amount of bass and a small amount of treble. I'm going to play it now and I'm going to bypass it and then we're going to hear the difference and see how much we've added and how much we lost. And there's always a loss and you're compensating for that loss. That's what we're basically trying to do. So I'll tweak, I might tweak another frequency here or there to get it even closer. Now I applied changes in the master EQ a bit, but it was enough to open it up a bit more. So basically I added another EQ change to what I did in the color section. Color section, I added a tad more bass and a tad more treble. I don't think I need more bass, but I want to clarify the high end a tad more without being too intrusive to it. You might notice that I was moving things around and that's more for my ear to hear a difference. So I was moving left and right, down and up, just to hear a small difference, kind of refreshing. That's why I, I do uh, bypass, unbypass. I'll try that a few times kind of to audition 
the change. Do I like the change or not? You know, am I connected to the change or or I just love it because I did it? You know, you, you don't want to be connected to it because you just did it. You want to be connected to it because it helps the song. And that's where the biasing of, of, of the person who works on a project, it's important to know when uh, to take that out and bring it back in. And the process is cool to love it. The process is cool to connect to it and to be part of it. But you always have to understand that that process really has to work and not just be like, because I did it, it works. It has to be, it works because it helps the song. Uh, and I think now this was very fast to do because the presets was worked really well for this type of music. It really connected the dots because it felt it felt like it's part of that song in this case. So it was a no-brainer in this. You know, the only things I felt I needed to tweak were adding a bit bass, a tad bass, a bit a tad treble, and the master EQ, and I adjusted a bit the limiter. So that's how, when you have a good preset that fits the song, you don't need much to play with it to get to a a, a good starting point that will lead you to an end point. Um, so tweaking it a bit just to fit and. Um, Let's listen to it again. Uh, let's listen with the mastering of the uh, STL Tone Mauer Apple Bomb Control Hub Expansion Pack, and then we'll bypass it. So this is how simple it can be. The only thing you need to do is toggle between the different presets and see which one is the closest to what you're working on and then making adjustments on the actual uh, control hub. So there you have it. STL Tone Control Hub, my or Apple Bomb Mastering Expansion Pack. <laughs>